When it comes time to harvest honey, you're going to want to get the bees out of your honey super to make it easier for you to take the frames to wherever you're going to extract the honey and deal with it without all those bees. Hi, I'm Jim from Beekeeping for Newbies. In this video, I'm going to talk about bee escapes, one of the ways you can get bees out of your super so you can easily handle the honey frames. If you're a backyard beekeeper, keeping bees as a hobby, you only have a few hives, you might be able to take out a frame, brush the bees off, shake them off, put the frame into an enclosed box so you're free of the bees and take it to your house or wherever you're going to work with the frame. If you have more than a few, that becomes tedious. If you have a lot of, a lot of hides, your best way to do this is probably using a fume board, which is a different discussion. In this video, I want to go over a bee escape, which is a simple thing you can put in your hive, leave it for a few days, and let the bees get out. So let's go over some of those. This is what's known as a porter bee escape. There are a bunch of different variations of it, but this is the one you'll most likely see if you're looking on Amazon or a lot of bee suppliers. It's a simple plastic device that fits inside an inside cover, the slot of an inside cover. Now you need to put a screw here to hold it in place, but basically this is the way it works. You put it in with this side up into your super. The bees during the night will go down here to exit because maybe it's a cooler night they want to get with the rest of the colony maybe they need to relieve themselves and need to get out of the hive you need to make sure there's no other way out this hive, this cover has a notch on it so you want to make sure that notch is blocked so they can't get out this way you want this the only way out and on the other side they would exit through one of these sides here as you can see now the reason that works is because inside this Porter Bee Escape are these wires. And these wires are designed so that the bee can come out and get out through here, but the wire is going to prevent them from getting back in very easily, if at all. Um, these wires will wear out over time, but this is a very inexpensive way to create a bee escape using your inner covers. Um, I have not used these. I understand they're pretty effective and might be worth a try because of how inexpensive they are. Another type of bee escape that uses your inner cover would be this. This is an eight-way bee escape. Um, there's ventilation holes here that let plenty of scent get up to the bees in the honey super. This gets placed over this side down, this is the upside, as you can see. This needs to be screwed on also to be held in place. This provides multiple exit points. The bees come down above here from the honey super and they'll come out one of these directions and they're not gonna figure out how to get back in there very easily. The idea is to put one of these on, leave it on for 24 to maybe 36 hours. Most, if not all the bees will exit and then you take this off when you take your honey away. We like to use the triangle bee escape. Now this is a dedicated frame that has a built-in triangular frame on it. You can see basically this side with the hole faces up into the honey super. Again, you need to make sure there's no other exit. The bees will come down through this exit into the triangle and exit from one of these, one of these corners. Uh, once they do that, they're gonna have a hard time getting back in. You don't wanna leave these on too long because eventually the bee may find their way back in um, since the goal is to get them out of the super. Once you have the bees out of your super, you could potentially brush off the handful that are left, take your frames, put them in a box where the bees can't get at them and take them away from the bee yard to work on them. This is a brief clip from a video I made a few years ago showing use of the Triangle Bee Escape, I had taken off the Honey Supers and put the Triangle Bee Escape, as you saw, with the triangle facing down and the circle opening facing upward. We use mostly 
eight frame medium boxes. So when a hive is very productive, they tend to get stacked pretty high. Made it a little difficult for me to get up on top of this without using a cinder block to step on. After I got this straightened out, I had three honey supers on top of the bee escape. And a day and a half later, you'll see when I remove it, there's virtually no bees in those three honey supers. It was a miserably hot day of the day I did that. Not a lot of fun to be in the, uh, in the bee jacket. So here we are, a couple of days later, virtually no bees. Simple solution, works very well. Maybe you want to give it a try if you only have a handful of hives. If you use a bee escape, you need to leave it on the hive, as I said, for 24 to 36 hours. That means the more hives you have, either the more bee escapes you need, or the more time it's going to take you as you transfer the bee escape from one colony to another. That's not a very efficient way if you have a lot of beehives. If you have a lot of hives and you want to get the bees out of the supers efficiently and quickly, the best way to do that is with a fume board. We don't have one here, but basically a fume board is a material that you put a chemical on. The smell from the chemical drives the bees out of the super into lower boxes. It works very quickly. Um, I'll link to a video down below where you can see how those are used. But if you only have a few hives, try a bee escape. Get your honey frames bee free. This was a short video. I hope you found it useful. If so, appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up down below. Consider subscribing, clicking the notification button. If you didn't like it, Feel free to give us a thumbs down, but I'd appreciate it if you tell us why in the comments below so we can improve and give you better information. Thanks again for watching.